Everyone knows Cristiano Ronaldo's name for a reason. Today I'm going to cover how he became the best in the world. Welcome back to Stars and Sports. Let's get into the video. Following his dream. I remember leaving home. My siblings were crying. My mother too. Even my father was more emotional that day. But they knew it was an opportunity I wanted in life. As a child, Cristiano was very talented, much better than most of his teammates. He already dreamt of becoming the best in the world. Others were laughing at his dream, but Cristiano was serious. He was, however, living in a remote location without the best opportunities to develop as a player. If you don't believe you are the best, then you will never achieve all that you are capable of. As an 11-year-old, Ronaldo made the big decision to move from Madeira and play for Sporting Lisbon. This meant living far away from his family and friends. In the beginning, it was extremely difficult for Cristiano. He almost thought that people in Lisbon were speaking a different language, as the accent is so different from where he grew up. But even though it was challenging, Cristiano had a dream of becoming the best and was willing to do anything to achieve it, even if that meant moving away from his family. Football was always my passion. I was always what I enjoyed doing the most, Cristiano Ronaldo. Becoming the best. I've never had to hide the fact that it is my intention to become the best. From a young age, Ronaldo was never content and always wanted more. He wants to win more than other people and to show that he is better than the rest. This extreme will to win and be the best motivates him to work harder and put in three sessions a day when others practice twice. Exactly how he developed this extreme desire to become the best is a bit of a mystery, but it has undoubtedly helped him to put in a lot of work. I have what I have now because I sacrifice a lot. Dedication, hard work, all the time, and belief. For Cristiano, it has always been about winning. He claims that it's more important to win than whether you play good or bad. In 10 or 20 years, people will only remember who wins, and they will not care about whether the other team played well or had a lot of opportunities. This sort of mentality has helped Ronaldo to focus on what it takes to win trophies and do what is necessary to get there, even if it's not always pretty. Being egoistic and selfish has always contributed to making him better. He always prioritized his development as a player and rarely took part in activities that could negatively affect his performance. This meant saying no to a lot of things that could be fun, but would over time hurt his performance. Rather than accepting an invitation to spend time with friends, Cristiano may instead prioritize to get another gym session or to relax. About Messi, I see him not as a rival, but as a person who makes me a better player, and I make him a better player. We are busting our balls to see who's better. Do you have a motto that you like to live by? Yes, I have. To improve myself all the time. Uh... Developing skills. I feel an endless need to learn, to improve, to evolve, not only to please the coach and the fans, but also to feel satisfied with myself. Cristiano is obsessed with anything that can improve his game. He always tries to implement new routines or in to increase how much you practice, as your body will not be able to recover. Instead, it's essential to think about how you practice, how can you maximize the quality you get out of each session. Cristiano is especially focused on becoming very athletic. He developed a lot of technical skills early on, but unless you build your athleticism, it's difficult to get the most out of your potential. Ronaldo's style of play means he gets tackled a lot, so building strength is crucial to avoid injuries. Having a high fitness level also makes it easier to execute any other skill. It's much more challenging to perform advanced technical skills when you're fatigued. Sleep and recovery. The better you recover, the more you can practice. Cristiano takes his resting very seriously and he sleeps 8-10 to 10 hours every night. He even has a sleep coach to optimize his sleeping schedule. In addition to sleeping a lot, Ronaldo also takes a lot of naps during the day as it helps the recovery after hard practice sessions. Naps help him to be more alert when he is training and means that he can fully focus on the parts of the game he is trying to improve. Ronaldo also takes his diet very seriously. It's an essential part of his recovery and without the right food, he wouldn't be able to train as hard as he does. His diet always consists of fresh food with lots of fish, chicken, and avocado. Foods that help recovery and builds muscle. Ronaldo further emphasizes the importance of eating regularly to help high energy levels to fuel his body for performance. He eats six smaller meals per day to make sure he has enough energy to outperform each session with high quality. Hydration is also vital. The rules are simple. He drinks a lot of water and avoids alcohol and carbonated drinks. A good workout must be combined with a good diet. I eat a high protein diet with lots of whole grain carbs, fruits and vegetables and avoid sugary foods. I do it, the basic things, you know, to be healthy, not just the abdominals, but the, all the body, you know, I think. Relaxing most of the day. Training and physical sessions are most important, but living a relaxed lifestyle helps you to be the best you can be, physically and mentally. I spend my free time with family and friends, which keeps me relaxed and in a positive mindset. When you become a superstar, many people want a share of your time. Walking down the street leads to people running after you to get an autograph. This quickly becomes tiresome and can steal a lot of energy and attention. When Cristiano is not at practice for playing a game, he spends most of his time in his house, where he can relax and play with his son or spend time with a very select number of close friends and family. Ronaldo's main priority when he is not practicing is to recharge his battery so he can perform. He tries to maintain a relaxed and restful lifestyle most of the day. 
Cristiano, his motivation, he has always uh, all the meat. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.